Hello, savvy investors and finance aficionados. It's Iggy from Investing Iguana, your guide in the bustling world of REITs and investments. In today's video titled Unveiling Capital and Malaysia Trust's Impressive Revenue Surge in FI 2023, we're going to dissect the exhilarating financial journey of Capital and Malaysia Trust, or CLMT. You're in for a treat as I unravel how they achieved an astonishing 54.4% jump in their net property income and what drove their revenue up by 57.5% in the final quarter of FI 2023. From the strategic acquisition of Queens Bay Mall to the incredible growth in their overall portfolio, we'll explore the moves that propelled CLMT to new financial heights. If you're keen to understand the dynamics behind their thriving performance and what it means for the savvy investor, stick around. This is a story of strategic triumph you don't want to miss. Capital and Malaysia Trust's Financial Leap Capital and Malaysia Trust, also known as CLMT, has recently made a significant impact in the financial sector. Their latest financial report has left many astounded. The report reveals a remarkable increase of 54.4% in their net property income, NPI, for the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2023. This is a substantial leap, especially when you consider the figures. The NPI reached an impressive total of RM63.02 million. To put this into perspective, the NPI for the same period in the previous year was RM40.8 million. This means that in just one year, CLMT managed to increase its NPI by over half. But what led to this extraordinary financial performance? While the specifics are not disclosed, it's clear that there must be some secret sauce behind this financial success. It could be a result of strategic investments, efficient management, favorable market conditions, or a combination of these factors. Regardless, this financial leap by CLMT is a testament to their strong performance and growth potential. It's a story of financial triumph that has certainly caught the attention of many in the financial world. Revenue Rocketing to New Heights He last quarter of the fiscal year 2023, specifically the months from October to December, marked a period of exceptional growth for the trust. The revenue during this period soared to new heights, increasing by a staggering 57.5%. This translated to a total revenue of RM108.51 million, a significant increase from the RM68.9 million recorded in the same period of the previous fiscal year, 2022. But what was the catalyst for this impressive growth? The answer lies in the performance of Queens Bay Mall. This mall, which was acquired by the Trust in March 2023, played a crucial role in driving the revenue growth. Its powerhouse performance significantly contributed to the Trust's overall revenue. However, the success story doesn't end with Queens Bay Mall. The rest of the Trust's mall portfolio also played a significant part in this financial success. Thanks to higher occupancy rates and positive rental reversions, these malls were able to contribute substantially to the trust's revenue. In essence, key combination of Queens Bay Mall's strong performance and the positive contributions from the rest of the trust's mall portfolio led to the trust's revenue rocketing to new heights in 4QFY 2023. This period of growth is a testament to the trust's strategic acquisitions and effective management of its properties. It's a clear indication of the trust's strong financial health and growth potential. Earnings Escalation and Distributable Income Dynamics The Trust's financial performance in the fiscal year 2023 was nothing short of extraordinary. It didn't just stop at the impressive revenue growth in the last quarter. The Trust's earnings for the entire fiscal year 2023 also saw a significant increase. The earnings soared by a substantial 42.6%, reaching a total of RM217.4 million. This is a remarkable increase from the RM152.5 million recorded in the fiscal year 2022. This upward trend in earnings was mirrored in the trust's annual gross revenue. The gross revenue for the fiscal year 2023 climbed by an impressive 43.4%. This translated to a total of RM395.4 million, a significant increase from the RM275.82 million recorded in the previous fiscal year. But the trust's financial success story doesn't end there. The cherry on top was the increase in CLMT's distributable income to unit holders for the fourth quarter of the fiscal year 2023. The distributable income shot up by a whopping 40.8%, reaching a total of RM32.7 million. In short, the trust's financial performance in the fiscal year 2023 was marked by an escalation in earnings, a surge in annual gross revenue, and a significant increase in distributable income to unit holders. DPU Delight and Portfolio Valuation 
In the realm of financial performance, the distribution per unit, DPU, is a key indicator of a trust's success. For the second half of the fiscal year 2023, Capitalan Malaysia Trust, or CLMT, announced a DPU of 2.24 Senator. This distribution is set to be paid by March 2024, providing a tangible return to the unit holders. But the good news doesn't stop there. This distribution boosts the total DPU for the fiscal year 2023 to 4.17 Senator. This figure is noteworthy because it surpasses the DPU of 4.01 sen from the previous fiscal year, 2022. This increase in DPU is a clear indication of the trust's strong financial performance and its ability to generate value for its unit holders. Another significant aspect of the trust's financial performance is its portfolio valuation. As of December 31, 2023, the trust's portfolio valuation stood at an astonishing RM5 billion. This figure is remarkable, especially when you consider that it marks a 28.2% increase from the RM3.9 billion valuation in the fiscal year 2022. Strategic Investments and Operational Innovations The chairman of Capital and Malaysia Trust's manager, Louis Chong Chi, has shed some light on the factors contributing to the trust's outstanding performance. He attributes the success to strategic investments and proactive asset and capital management. These are not just buzzwords, but key strategies that have been effectively implemented by the trust. Strategic investments refer to the trust's careful selection and acquisition of properties that have high potential for growth. These investments are not made on a whim, but are the result of thorough research and analysis. The trust identifies properties that are undervalued or have the potential to generate high returns and then invests in them. This strategy has proven to be highly effective as evidenced by the trust's impressive financial performance. Proactive asset and capital management, on the other hand, involves actively managing the trust's assets and capital to maximize returns. This includes everything from optimizing the use of capital to implementing cost-saving measures. It's about making the most of what the trust has and using it to generate the highest possible returns. But the trust's strategy doesn't stop at investments and capital management. To keep CLMT's malls appealing to tenants and shoppers, continuous operational improvements and asset enhancement initiatives, AEIs, are underway. These initiatives could involve anything from renovating the malls to introducing new features and services. The goal is to constantly improve the malls and make them more attractive to tenants and shoppers. This, in turn, helps to drive occupancy rates and rental income, contributing to the trust's revenue growth. CEO Insights and Asset Enhancement Initiatives Tan Chun Chang, the CEO of Capital and Malaysia Trust's manager, has provided some valuable insights into the trust's success. He emphasized the group's successful efforts in refreshing the tenant mixes and introducing new brands. These strategic moves have led to a significant increase in the retail portfolio occupancy, which stood at 91.7% in the fiscal year 2023. This is a clear indication of the trust's ability to attract and retain tenants, which is crucial for its revenue growth. In addition to the increased occupancy, the trust also achieved a positive rental reversion of 7% in the fiscal year 2023. Rental reversion refers to the increase in rental rates when leases are renewed. A positive rental reversion means that the trust was able to negotiate higher rental rates when renewing leases, which contributes to its revenue growth. But the trust's success is not just about occupancy rates and rental reversions. Notably, shopper traffic saw a significant rise of 25.1%. This increase in shopper traffic is a testament to the trust's ability to create appealing retail environments that attract shoppers. More shopper traffic translates to more sales for the tenants, which in turn leads to higher rental income for the trust. Future-focused and market capitalization as we look towards the future, Capital and Malaysia Trust, or CLMT, remains steadfast in its commitment to maintaining a proactive approach to asset and capital management. This approach has been a key factor in the Trust's past success, and it is clear that it will continue to be a cornerstone of its strategy moving forward. The CEO of the Trust's manager, Tan Chung Chang, has shared some exciting plans for the future. These include upcoming asset enhancement initiatives, AEIs, at Gurney Plaza. AEIs are strategic projects aimed at enhancing the value of a property, whether through renovations, expansions, or other improvements. These initiatives at Gurney Plaza are expected to further boost the trust's portfolio and contribute to its revenue growth. 
In addition to the AEIs at Gurney Plaza, Tant also mentioned ongoing retrofitting works at the Glen Marie Distribution Center. Retrofitting involves making modifications to existing buildings to make them more efficient or functional. The retrofitting works at the Glen Marie Distribution Center are expected to enhance its functionality and efficiency, which could potentially lead to increased returns. Despite these promising developments, the trust's unit price closed slightly lower at 57 Senator. However, this slight dip should not overshadow the trust's strong financial position. CLMT boasts a robust market capitalization of RM1.56 billion. Market capitalization, or market cap, is the total market value of a company's outstanding shares of stock. It is a key indicator of a company's financial strength and stability. A market cap of RM1.56 billion is a testament to the trust's strong financial health and its ability to weather market fluctuations. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into Capital and Malaysia Trust's phenomenal financial performance in FI 2023. We've seen how strategic investments, proactive asset management, and innovative enhancements led to their impressive revenue surge. It's clear that CLMT isn't just about numbers, it's about a forward-thinking approach and smart execution. If you enjoyed this insightful journey into one of Malaysia's premier REITs and found it enlightening, please give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your fellow investors. Your support is crucial in helping us bring more such compelling content to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the Investing Iguana channel and turn on notifications to stay on top of the latest trends and analysis in the investment world. Whether you're weighing your next investment move or just love keeping up with the financial markets, we've got you covered. Until next time, keep investing smart, stay informed, and I'll see you in our next financial adventure. Happy investing, everyone!